What is tiki? Tiki is just another word that we use to describe Polynesian pop culture. So tonight I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the history of tiki in America and how it relates to uh, some of the establishments that we've even seen in Arizona. If you look at the screen behind me, you can see we have a timeline of the evolution of Polynesian pop culture throughout America. There's a dividing line in the 1950s, and everything before that in the 30s and the 40s was actually what we call pre-tiki. Everything after that was kind of the tiki heyday. It all started in 1934 when Don the Beachcomber opened the first Don the Beachcomber restaurant. His real name was actually Ernest uh, Beaumont Gant, but he, he really um, idolized himself so much that he took on the name Don Beach. This is Trader Vic, probably one of the most well-known uh, ambassadors of the tiki culture. Uh, his real name is Victor Bergeron, and he opened all the Trader Vicks throughout America. This is Stephen Crane. Stephen Crane is probably most well-known for his early uh, luau concept of a restaurant, and then later opened up uh, the Contiki chains that proliferated across America. On the left, you'll see a man named Eli Headley, and his grandson, Bamboo Ben, is on the right. Eli Headley is one of the original beachcombers who, as seen here, uh, was actually uh, carving a, uh, a moai that is now up in Las Vegas at Sunset Park. This is a Contiki restaurant in Tucson where Bamboo Ben, his grandson, completely renovated the interior. This is the Contiki Hotel that used to be at uh, 24th Street, and uh, Van Buren is no longer there, unfortunately, and the Islands Restaurant, which was at 7th Street, and uh, Indian School is gone as well. This is another uh, restaurant that's no longer here, unfortunately, but on the top right, you'll see a photo of uh, Trader Vic's Scottsdale, and you can notice the uh, sloping hip roof, and the other photo was what it looks like today. This is a new Trader Vic's at the Hotel Valley Ho. An interesting concept about uh, Trader Vic's is in their early days, they didn't tell the bartenders what were in the mixes because the other bartenders or other restaurants were stealing their own uh, bartenders for themselves. So they always kept them in secret uh, mixed bottles. These are um, a few of the establishments around town. Uh, some of you are probably familiar with them all. This is Finn Kirsten, probably uh, one of the most well-known tiki people that's active in the community. He authored the Book of Tiki and then most recently Tiki Modern. I want to special thank him for allowing me to use a lot of the slides tonight. This is uh, Holden Weston, Westland who owns a tiki farm in San uh, Clemente. If you pick up the bottom of a tiki mug, it'll probably tell you where it's from and most of them say tiki farm. This is Doug Horn, a good friend of ours who actually now lives in California. He's a digital graphic artist. He draws all of his paintings by hand and then goes into Photoshop and renders them there. This is Crazy Al, another uh, Scottsdale person. He always has a little chicken bone in his beard, but he's a really prolific carver, and I don't know if you can see it, but his attention to detail is just amazing. This is Bosco. Bosco has uh, his own style of tiki carving very reminiscent of the Whitco era of the 60s. The shield that you see on the right there is uh, actually hanging at Hula's Modern Tiki. This is uh, Jeff Beach Bumberry, and he's a mixologist, someone who has really gone out and tried to recraft and recreate some of the early cocktail recipes that have been disappeared over time because they were just handed down from generation to generation. He's written four books and also has an iPhone app called Tiki Plus. He was uh, gracious enough to give that to me. And uh, here you can see the actual recipe for the Trader Vic's original Mai Tai. No need to write it down. I'll have a copy of it out at uh, my table there. But notice, the Mai Tai is not red. If you order a red Mai Tai, or if you order a Mai Tai and it comes in red, send it back. It's all about the nice rum. So where can you learn more? The, probably the biggest uh, forum online is tikicentral.com. Also, you can pick up the book of Tiki by Sven. They're available on Amazon, usually about $40. So thank you very much. Yeah.